are you doing here today, Rabbi? I'm uh, pouring wine and generally overseeing the uh, trade, uh, trade show of um, Herzog Wines. This is the Bartonura line, and I'm pouring for people, and they're sampling it, and... What, and what's your function? My function is both as a mashkiach, as a rabbi, to oversee that that it's kosher, that it's the, the, the wine that is not mavushal ends up being untouched by uh, uh, certain hands, and uh, the mavushal wine is also protected by uh, a uh, supervisor, kashrut supervisor. Although all wine is kosher, all wine is uh, kosher if it's made from grapes, there's certain rabbinical injunctions uh, that we're not supposed to have non-Jewish wines. And there are certain kashrut uh, problems with um, wine, even Jewish wines, uh, that are not kosher, that are run through uh, with uh, pig fat to, to clear it of its sediment. And that, according to everybody, not everybody holds that that makes it unkosher, non-kosher, but, but we just want to protect it from from that, so we're overseeing that part of it. And if the wine is not mavushal, there's a certain aspect that it's considered that somebody, if they wanted to, could touch the wine and offer it in their mind up to their pagan god, and that would be something bad for other Jews to taste it. Uh, a, a Torah law that prohibits us eating, drinking ritual wine that the non-Jews have offered to their pagan gods. And rabbinically, it's also uh, any wine that's not mavushal, cooked, boiled any wine it's uh, also for other di uh, reasons they make the rabbinical rabbinically they make it forbidden and so we're just here to oversee that and make sure there's smooth saying that we do the pouring we do the handling of open bottles uh, the unopened bottles they can all hold themselves and that's what we're doing here and we're enjoying ourselves l'chaim i happen to have two of the best wines here Two of, two of, I bet you, you stack it up against all these wines. Two of the best wines here, I can't even pronounce them because my Italian is non-existent, but there is one that is called, um, one that is called, no, uh, Dolcetto de Alba, and one that is called, whoa, and one that is called Rosso C, and your, your, your pronunciation is, is as good as mine. These are the two best wines probably in the whole place, in my opinion. Okay, and so this is Moshe Perry reporting from the scene for YouTube over and out back to the studios.